Hi, I'm Danny, and welcome to my channel. For today's video, I have my January update to the Paranormal Pantivity Project pan. This is a Pantastic Ladies collab that was created by Andrea, and I will have all of that information linked down below. It did start on September 24th of last year, goes to September 24th of this year, because it is National Ghost Hunting Day. So Andrea came up with 31 prompts. She said we could start off with six prompts, or however many we wanted, and I decided to roll in all 31 prompts at the beginning of this project. So let me go over my progress for this past month. I will be talking about the products that I have used or have progress on over this past month, so I will not be showing everything that is in this project. As of the last update, I have hit my goal on four items and I have hit my goal on several more. So the first one that I was working on was for the Prompt Poltergeist, a product that gives you trouble, is hard to use, has faulty packaging, etc. For that, I chose my ColourPop and Disney Villains collab. This is the Ultra Glossy Lip in the shade Sad But True. This was brand new when I rolled it in and I have used it six times this month. The reason I don't like it is because it has these brush tip applicator. I much prefer a doe foot, so that's why I put it in here. My goal is to finish it. I have a lot more uses to go, but I have hit six uses so far on this product. The next one I had was White Lady, a product that's white or has white packaging. For that, I rolled in my NYX Pore Filling Primer. This was brand new when I rolled it in. It was up to here, and I've used it 20 times this past month and I am down to here. So I'm making some pretty decent progress on this. I feel like this is a good dupe for the Benefit Professional, the original one. I really like this one, and so far it's working out great under all the foundations that I'm trying it on. So 20 uses, and I think probably another month or two before this one is gone. The next prompt was Bloody Mary, a product with a mirror. So I chose an eyeshadow from my Jeffree Star Jaw Blaker palette. I was working on the shade Virgin. This was brand new when I rolled it in, and over this past month, I have used it 30 times, and this is what it's looking like. So I've completely worn off the imprint on this eyeshadow right here. My goal is to hit pan, and I think it's gonna take me at least another month before I can hit that goal. Next was Vanishing Hitchhiker, a product that disappears quickly. For that, I rolled in my Anastasia Beverly Hills Lip Gloss in the shade Tasty. As of the last update, I had used this 11 times over the past month. I've used it 46 more, and this is completely gone. I did take the stopper out, and I got every bit out of there. So it took me 57 total uses to finish off this lip gloss. Next, I had Kelpie, a product that you use in the shower or bath. For that, I rolled in my Not Your Mother's Bamboo Activated Charcoal and Purple Moonstone Scalp Scrub. My goal is to try to finish this. As of the last update, I had used it six times, and over the past month, I have used it one more time. This is it right here. I don't you need a lot of this, and I am about down to here. So this will take me a couple more months to completely finish up. The next prompt I was working on was for Ectoplasm, a face mask. For that, I rolled in my Frank Body Caffeinated Glow Mask. As of the last update, I had used it seven times to get down to here. I used it three more times, and this is completely empty. I cannot get any more out of this. This was an okay mask. I will not be repurchasing this, but I'm happy that I have another empty in this project. Next was Necromancy, a product you haven't used in a long time. For me, that is the Too Faced Peach Perfect Setting Powder. I got this probably back in 2018, 2019. It's been a long time since I used this. As of the last update, I had used it six times and I couldn't make a new mark. I have used it 29 times and I can barely make a new line down there. Let's see if I can line it up but there is a ton of product in here. It's going to take me months to finish getting through this. The next prompt was Ouija Board, a product with embossing or an imprint. I did choose another eyeshadow from the Jeffree Star Jawbreaker palette. I chose to work on the shade Jawbreaker. This was brand new when I rolled it in, and over the past month, I have used it 26 times, and this is what it's looking like. So hopefully you can see I was able to wear away the star. If you turn it like that, you can see where the points kind of were, but for the most part, that is completely gone, so I am calling this a goal met. I did wear away that imprint, so this one can roll out of the project. Next was Urban Legend, a product that's too good to be true. For me, that is my Not Your Mother's Curl Talk Frizz Control Sculpting Gel. 
As of the last update, I had used this 21 times to get to here. I've used it 10 more and now I am down to here. I absolutely love this. This is amazing for my curls. I will always repurchase that. Next was Seance, a product you bought because someone else told you to or recommended it. This is a recommendation from Deb, and it is the ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in the shade Ice Dream. As of the last update, I had used it 28 times. I have used it six more times, and I have finally hit pan in this, which was my goal. It took me 31 uses to hit pan, but I did continue to use it for a few more times, so that's why I got a total of 34 uses on this. I love this this shade right here. And as a matter of fact, I have already rolled this into another project. Let me give you a swatch of it. It is very, very pretty. It is light. It is definitely an eyeshadow topper shade. So yes, I've already rolled this into another project. I'm realizing I didn't give you a swatch of the shade Jawbreaker. This is it right here. It has a lot more golden tones. So that is that eyeshadow Virgin. I guess I can swatch that one too. It is just a, a white eyeshadow. Let's see if it even shows up, so barely. So those are the three eyeshadows that I've been working on so far in this project. The next prompt was Flying Dutchman, a product that you are doomed to pan what feels like forever. So I chose another eyeshadow from the Jeffree Star Jawbreaker palette. I was, chose the to work on the shade Cone for this. This was brand new when I rolled it in, and over this past month I have used it eight times, and this is it right here. It does not look used, even after eight uses. I have found that with some of his eyeshadows, I'm talking about the matte eyeshadows, they are very powdery and you can hit pan in them very quickly, and then others, like the shade Cone, it's probably gonna take me around 70, 80 uses to hit pan in this. So this is a swatch of it right here, a very light brown shade. It does work great as a transition shade. So that's how I'll continue to work on that one. My goal is to hit pan on that shade. The next prompt was Black Dog, an animal themed product. For that, I rolled in my Menagerie Flight Club palette. My goal for this was to use it, no pan left behind. And I hit that goal this past month. This palette is stunning. It works really well with my Pan That palette, the purple shades that are in there. I have had so much fun pairing these two palettes together. Let me give you a swatch of some of the shimmers. This is the shade Nocturnal. Beautiful. This one is called After Dark. This one is a little bit more of a magenta. This one is called Megabat. These are just beautiful. I have loved working on this palette. I'm very happy that I have this one in my collection. Next prompt was Domovic, a household spirit in Russian folklore, an item that followed you from house to house. I chose one of my oldest products, which is my Garnier Full Control Anti-Humidity Hairspray. As of the last update, I had used this seven times to get down to here. It was at this turquoise line right here when it started. I've used it four more times and I am down to here. So I've made quite a bit of a jump using this 11 times. I'm so happy to see progress going on this one. I cannot wait till it is done and out of my collection. Next was the prompt haunting. Dupe a product that haunts you or pan a product you regret buying for me. That is the Jeffree Star Jawbreaker palette once again. And for this one, I chose to work on the shade Good Morning. This was brand new when I rolled it into the project and I have worn this 19 times over the past month. And this is it right here. So I'm definitely making a bit of progress in here. My goal is to hit pan and I have quite a ways to go for that one. Let's see if this one will show up as a swatch. It's just a very pale pink color right there. No, it's not gonna show up. So I have a lot of use still to go on that one. Next was the prompt, Tommyknocker, a spirit that lives and works in mines. This is something that is named after a metal or is a metallic product. So I decided to work on my Beauty Crop Cocoa Gold Mist. This was brand new, and over the past month I have used it seven times. I didn't make a new mark, but I am right here. Now the reason I didn't make a new mark is because this sprayer has broken. I'm not quite sure if you'll see it, but it just comes out and a solid jet stream. It does not spray at all. It is just one solid stream. I need to decant this and put it into another container so it will actually spray on my face rather than just soaking it like a hose. So I've gotten seven uses on that. I will put it in new packaging, take new weights and all of that and show you what it, my progress looks like next month. The final product that I have was for Tower of London, a product that makes you lose your head either in delight or in frustration. 
for me it is delight i chose to work on my philosophy fresh cream warm cashmere perfume i did decant it into this container as of the last update i had used it 30 times to get down to here i've used it 21 more and i am down to here there is just a little bit left to go in here i'm at 51 uses and i probably will have this one finished for the next month so if you've been keeping track, I hit my goal on four more items. So I have hit my goal on eight out of 31 products so far. Looking over everything that is here, I think I can have my goal hit on the perfume. I think I can hit pan in this shade right here. And other than that, I'm not sure if I will have any other goals met. So that is my entire update for you. I hope you enjoyed this. Before you go, if you haven't, I hope that you'll please subscribe to my channel and ring that bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much for stopping by. Mm -hmm.